Did you know that Gary Black predicts a 7x increase in Tesla stock? Black is among those who are still bullish on the firm despite the many problems it faces. Black thinks that this must occur for Tesla's price to rise. So if you don't want to miss this information in a tweet, keep an eye on it. Gary Black discussed his opinions on Ron Barron's projected valuation of Tesla at $4.5 trillion by the end of the decade. Ron Barron's estimate of Tesla's worth at $4.5 trillion over the next 10 years is remarkably accurate. He makes the assumption that there will be 20 million cars at $50,000 in ASB and a 30% operating margin, which translates to $300 billion in operational income times 15 times Avoy, or $4.5 trillion, excluding robot taxis and batteries. EV's investor and mutual fund manager Ron Barron from the United States thinks Tesla shares might increase by 570% in the next 10 years to be valued at $4.5 trillion. Renowned investor Ron Barron of Barron Capital expressed his. Continued optimism for Tesla in November telling CNBC that he anticipates the business to post significant increases that will eventually raise its valuation to almost $4.5 trillion, or 570% above current levels. Barron has been a Tesla supporter for a long time. He initially bought stock in the business in 2014. His total investment in Tesla is estimated to be worth $4 billion. The investor projected that the company's shares would be valued between $500 and $675 in 2025, and that the company's overall worth would reach approximately $4.5 trillion in 8 to 10 years. The investor concurs with Elon Musk's remarks from the Q3 2022 earnings call that said Tesla might be valued at over $4 trillion, making it larger than both Apple and Saudi. Aramco put together. Barron's optimistic target price is predicated on the assumption that Tesla will sell roughly 20 million vehicles yearly and grow its business dramatically over the next 10 years. He also addressed Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, and his objective of producing 20 million vehicles annually by 2030. If he sells 20 million automobiles annually at $50,000 each in 2030, he would have made $1 trillion. In sales, his operating earnings will come to about 30% of that amount. According to Barron, multiplying the $300 billion in operating earnings by 50 to get at $4.5 trillion. The investor highlights that the positive argument presented by the revenue contribution of Tesla vehicles alone leaves out other incredibly profitable sectors that the firm is currently focusing on, such autonomous vehicles, batteries and robots together provide a margin of safety for his investment, but that doesn't include robots, that does not include self-driving cars, that excludes batteries. Given that he believes robots will eventually surpass automobiles in size, it's difficult to keep up with all that Tesla is doing. Barron clarified it should be noted that Musk implied that he had very high expectations for the humanoid robot and that Tesla's valuation might even be. Higher if it was included through a tweet when he said that Tesla will eventually be worth more than Apple and Saudi Aramco combined. Musk also emphasized that the humanoid robot is not even taken into consideration. Gary Black said he agreed with Ron Barron's assessment on Tesla. By 2030, Barron's Tesla valuation of $4.5 trillion in just 10 years aligns with my own, even though our approaches are different. Black said he further explained that he projects 1.06 million Tesla EVs will produce 2030 EPs of 42. Assuming a 30 XPE in 2032X future EPS growth of 15 CGR, which equates to $1,260 a share valuation of around $4.5 trillion, however, Black, like the majority of Tesla investors, voiced concern over Elon Musk focus. On Twitter, a growing number of Tesla individual investors are expressing their misgivings that chief executive Elon Musk's involvement with Twitter Inc. may be to the detriment of the electric vehicle maker with the car company stuck on track for its worst full year performance. There is no Tesla CEO. Uh, today, Gary Black, managing partner of the Future Fund LLC, which owns roughly $50 million worth of Tesla tweeted Black expressed his frustration after another sharp sell-off in Tesla stock shares in the World's largest car company by market value fell by more than 6% in mid-December. This is following a tumultuous weekend for Musk on Twitter when the billionaire took aim at the company's former head of trust and safety and called for the prosecution of top U.S. government medical advisor. Anthony Fauci, as well as criticized people who offered their pronouns without being asked, Black said the market voted today that the Tesla brand has been negatively impacted by the two Twitter drama where before EV buyers were proud to drive their Teslas to their friends or show off Teslas in their driveways now. The Twitter controversy is hurting Tesla's brand. We don't think the Tesla brand has been harmed, but better Tesla communications are unquestionably needed. Equity Black famously quoted. American business mogul Warren Buffett, who is currently the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, Buffett famously stated that in the short run, the market is a voting machine, but in the long run, it's a weighing machine. Black then tagged Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, as well as Martin Vita, the head of investor relations and board member Hermichi Mizuno. Ross Gerber, a longtime supporter of Tesla, tweeted a question addressed to the board of directors who are in charge of running the company day to day during this crucial period for the business. In a subsequent tweet, Gerber stated that there is nothing wrong with Tesla other than the CEO working for another company and that it would be helpful to know what Elon Musk's plans are. 
This year's decline in Tesla shares of more than 54.31% puts the company on track for its worst year ever. The only previous year with a decline in shares was 2016, when the company's stock finished down 10.97%. Notably, Musk's takeover of Twitter has caused fear among Tesla supporters for months. When shares of Tesla were already down by about 30%, some pushed the CEO to back out of the transaction and concentrate on the EV maker. The stock has since dropped much more in the following months due to mounting concerns about a recession and pressure from rising inflation on costs. Tesla has also lowered its expectations for car deliveries. Since the Twitter transaction concluded in late October, Tesla stock has dropped by roughly 28%. On December 13th, it ended trading at its lowest level in almost two years, the same day that Musk tweeted that Tesla will be wonderful in the long run, but that it doesn't control macroeconomic waves to the dismay of investors. It Musk had earlier stated that he was still working on both Tesla and SpaceX, formerly known as Space Exploration Technologies Corporation. I will ensure that Tesla shareholders benefit from Twitter in the long run, he later added. I oversee both Tesla and SpaceX, but the teams that are so good that often little is needed from me, he tweeted over the weekend in a July tweet. I have attached a 2030p of 30x, which is consistent with a 15 volume rise in earnings from 2030 on, resulting in a 2030pt of 3600. I'm discounting that back at 13.1%, I assume a 10-year growth rate of 3.5%. At the moment, Ty was worth $1,400. Although this prediction was made prior to Tesla's August stock split, it still makes sense given that the EV company stock is currently trading almost at the same level as it did in July. Albeit much lower than that at $232 per share, as it is currently trading below $200, Black said that Tesla should begin buying back its own shares since the stock is too cheap. Tesla bull and institutional investor Gary Black has stated that the company should undertake a buyback at this time because the price to earnings ratio is at its lowest point since the company's founding. Black has written to the Tesla board of directors suggesting that they use some of the company's increasing cash on hand to buy back shares of Tesla. Black suggests that Tesla's board could authorize a $10 billion share buyback program and use the $5 billion to immediately buy back shares from CEO Elon Musk. This would solve the dual purpose of helping Musk finance and boosting any stock because buy buybacks can boost stock. After all, a company is just another buyer of shares, and when there are more buyers than sellers, stock prices rise. After Twitter, Audi criticized his idea. Twitter also lowered the restriction on purchases and Tesla shares and increased earnings per share. Black went on to say that the buyback should be proposed in three years and that a $10 billion buyback wouldn't harm the company because earnings are predicted to generate $18.9 billion in cash and $100 billion in free cash flow over that time. He also stated that all capital expenses, including the $35 billion cost of new, Giga's Optimus Dojo Robot Taxis and other initiatives will be covered by the assumption. Black also disclosed an open letter he sent to the board of Tesla, offering recommendations. The letter states that Tesla is the fund's largest position going forward and that the company has complete faith in the business management team, products, and strategies. Enroll in this channel and enjoy your viewing experience.